Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to continue part 2 of this photo manipulation. You will find part 1 in the description. Keep watching. Okay, for dungeon burn we make curves adjustment layer two times. First one you will bring up the lightning and convert it with control I and call it touch. The other one is exactly the same. Clip it, bring it down, control I to invert it and call this burn. And then with the brush selected on the mask with the white brush selected but we make the flow in a lower value I start usually with 10 and then go to your object we will start with this gate and start painting for the dodge with the, the edges that you think will be brighter everything the light hits you just emphasize how it looks like so Here because the light of the moon will be facing this side. Also here and there. See before and after. Then now the burn. In the darker area we will emphasize the effect even more. So basically you make the dark parts darker and the bright parts brighter. And always try to check before and after to see how much you're going if you want to emphasize this even more or bring down the opacity in some cases so this is all about dodging and burning just making the dark parts darker and the bright parts brighter it gives a 3d look to everything so this is the game now I will make the video fast forward and the procedure is just the same in all the items.
Now I'll bring this torch here, resize it, and put it somewhere here. Take another copy, dragging while holding out. And then I will make a solid color layer with any color, orangish color like this, and invert the mask with the brush selected white color and also low flow something around 10 and then I will try to reveal some of the effect but with linear dodge uh, color mode it gives this lighting to the scene I will put them both in a group and call it torches so this is before and after Then I'll take the same color and inside the house, same thing, invert. Then I will make some lights here and there as if the windows having some sort of light inside them. Also change it to linear dodge. Maybe I can lower the opacity just a touch. And in the color, this is a character. I'll add also this same light here. Clip it and reveal some of it here and there with the white brush selected. Reveal some of it as a reflection of the light coming from those torches on his body. Now also change it to linear dodge and reduce the opacity a little bit doesn't have to be so strong in the gates I will do the same convert it and reveal some of the lighting here because these torches will reflect on the columns here change it linear dodge reduce its opacity it's all about trial and error here and there adding some lights see before and after Okay, now for the finishing, first thing, I'll go to the sky layer, convert it to a smart object, if it's not already a smart object, then I'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and try to give it some sort of blur. Maybe it's not that visible now, but it's there. Because it's kind of dark, but it is there. Okay, this is for the sky. Then, on top of everything, I'll click on Control, Shift, Alt, 
E to make a screenshot of everything. Right click, convert to smart object. Then I will go to filter, blur gallery, field blur. Then I will add some dots. This one I will make it zero. Then I will add some one here, another one here, and make it around nine, ten. And also another one here. Sometimes it's a bit laggy. Another point here. And make it also ten or nine. Then I'll add another point on the ground. So basically I'm doing some amounts of blur in the edges and keeping the middle of the design or the focal point of the design with no blur. And also one here in the sky area, in the moon area. Okay. Again, if you can't see if what ha what's happening, see the before and after, and you will see there is a difference there. So this is before, this is after. Okay. Then on top of this, I will make another screenshot. Control Shift Alt E. Again, Control uh, right click. Right click and uh, make it. Maybe before this. I'll give it a gradient map from black to white and change its blending mode to luminosity. This gives this look. Maybe I will reduce its amount a little bit, like so. Maybe 60 is okay. And I will make then another gradient map, but this time I will change the color. This one I'll make it make the black at this side and the white as this side, and then start adding sort of blue I want it to have a blue tint let's check this greenish look no want this to be darker and this one and give it some sort of Orangish. All this is trial and error. I'm trying. Make it fifty percent. Reduce it all the way down and then gradually raise it up and see how it affects the design. before and after maybe I want to change the values a little bit I will change this to a bluish tint yeah I guess now it's much better then control shift alt E to make a screenshot right click convert to smart object and then filter camera row filter inside the camera row filter I will add some blue and then maybe the exposure add a bit of contrast and also Add some texture and clarity. And a bit of vibrance. And then in this tab I will add some sharpening. And in the split tuning I will add in the highlights some sort of yellowish. And in the shadows I'll add some blues see see the difference it made and 
And in the ethic step, I will add some vignetting. See before and after. This is before, this is after. Okay. It gives a very good look to the overall design. First it was pale, now it's all vibrant and I like it this way. Now another screenshot, Control shift alt e convert to smart object, right click convert to smart object. I always work with smart objects in case if I want to change anything. Then I will go to my neck collection, color fix. If you don't have this uh, filter, no problem, you can stop right here. But this is just additional steps, it adds to the overall design takes some while to open okay first I will add some glamour glow detail extractor detail extractor is better okay again I'll make it zero opacity and then gradually add adding the effects and see how it will affect the design see before and after another screenshot control alt shift e right click convert to smart object and i will go again to the same filter filter new collection color fix but this time i will add bleach bypass Bleach bypass. Okay. Again, opacity zero. Then gradually adding the effect. I learned this technique actually from Clinton Lofthouse. He's a great designer and photographer. To make it zero and then gradually adding the effect to see how it will fit bits. Now I'm adding all the finishing steps in one group green emit finishing see before and after before finishing after finishing and that's it for now thank you very much for watching